Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to Masked Carnival Tuesdays, a series where I help you guys complete the Blue Mage weekly challenge for the Carnival. This is going to be the week of June 22nd to the 28th. Alright, so today's week is going to be pretty easy. We have a little night music, some like it excruciatingly hot, and on a clear day you can smell forever. So for this one, it's just complete the mission as usual. For this one, you need to be able to beat this in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Cannot run and have to use only lightning based magic attacks or physical. And on a clear day, you can smell forever. You just need to beat it in under 5 minutes. Alright, so for this one, basically use whatever you have in your arsenal except do not use anything slashing because that will not work so basically get him low enough and then final sting for the kill i do not believe you can freeze him so you're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way all right so let's get into it so make sure you have a silence and have the ethereal mimicry of a dps if you're looking for the achievement, let him grow three times with King's Will. Alright, so I'm going to buff myself up with Whistle, hit him with Off Guard. King Gold down here with Triple Trident. And then it's going to hit him with everything I have under the sun. Unfortunately, I do not have anything for silence. That's quite a white. We're almost done. And there you go. Give him everything you got, and then you feel like you're ready to go. Whistle, moon flute, tingle. And off guard in, then final sting. That's going to be for the novice. Alright, so the next one is going to be, on a clear day, you can smell forever. So this one, they use reflect, which anything magic will reflect right back to you. But you can load her up with magic attacks before reflect goes up. And you have to do it under 5 minutes. If you have inkjet, you can basically blind yourself, because the ads that they can spawn will give you a hysteria, I believe. Or you can run into the electrical barrier and dodge the eye attacks altogether. Alright, so what we're going to do is put on Ink Jet, just in case. And let's do this. Alright, so you have a couple of seconds before she puts up her reflective barrier. So, if you like... You can just lay it into her. And there you go for the Act 1. Shock Strike, Glass Dance with a buff to Triple Trident, and out she goes. Now since those are going to be on cooldown, I'm going to have to use something else. But, this shouldn't be too hard. Alright, so I'm going to open up with Mantra Magic. Super Naka. And just to... Sharpen Knife with a little bit of Whistle to boost it up. Watch out the awful breath. I'm going to use Phantom Flurry since it's physical. And there's the ability to summon the adds, but she'd be dead before you know it. So I did it in 1 minute and 20 seconds. So if you have all these high powered primal weapon abilities, you can go ahead and annihilate them both. If not, you're just going to have to do sharpen knife and just uh, do the mechanics. 
So bad breath, awful breath, and then this, I think phase two she does the ads. All right, so the last one, some like it excruciatingly hot. You want to have a sticky tongue, and then in glower is your best bet because you're gonna need to do lightning only. All right, so you get two acts on this one. They aren't affected by anything, so you can't use anything like that to cheese it. All right, so the first thing you do is sticky tongue. And then if you can reach, hit them both at the same time and get them to the edge. And then you can just do sharpened knife for faster damage or anything non-physical or non-magical, I mean. All right, so that is going to be act one. So sticky tongue, glower, sharpened knife, act one is done. This one, you have the barriers, so just grab them all with sticky tongue. And once you get them all lined up, send them over to the edge. Now that they're to the edge, I'm gonna use Phantom Flurry. And that's it for target A. So if you have Phantom Flurry, you can actually knock this out pretty quickly. So like I said, it's an easy week for Blue Mage. But if you don't have all these high-powered primal weapon abilities, just do normal tactics with a sharpened knife and then inkjet for the uh, marbles. But there's no cheese this week, so you're going to have to do it the best you can. All right, guys? So that is pretty much going to be it for this Blue Mage Weekly Challenge. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I've been more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys never miss an upload. So until next time, may forever walk in the glorious light, I'll blow Bahamut. Take care, guys.